this podcast, you will be able to learn more about high-tech farming in Singapore. Firstly, we need to know what is high-tech farming. High-tech farming is a knowledge to base agricultural system that makes use of technology to increase the value and quality of the farms produced. Its purpose is mainly for promotion. The crops grown are high-tech quality vegetables, flowers or fruits which are sold locally and exported overseas. However, it requires a lot of capital inputs like greenhouse gases to create conditions ideal enough for the plant growth. Examples could be temperature and the amount of moisture, which are automatically adjusted by a computer to suit the growth of the crops or animals. Why does Singapore need high-tech farming? It is due to the lack of land available for farming in Singapore and is crucial in maximising produce using small parcel of land. Singapore's small land size makes it difficult to accommodate large areas of land for farming even for high-tech farming, which requires less land area. High-tech farming is a plausible alternative food source for Singapore, but it is not possible to rely entirely on it. Singapore is still currently relying heavily on imports from Malaysia and Indonesia to sustain the demand here, so importing food is still the only option. Where are the high-tech farms in Singapore? There are a few of them. Morai, Lim Chu Kang, Sengai Tega, Mandai, Ni Sun and Loyang. Here are a few videos taken at two high-tech farms in Lim Chu Kang. Please sit back and enjoy the movie. Thank you. What we can know now about this video are the inputs of Singapore's high-tech farming. The inputs are that Singapore has the latest and most advanced technology. They involve in a huge sum of money and farming chemicals which have their knowledge driven. The outputs are that there is a higher harvest per unit area as compared to low-tech farming. They also included many other productions like fruits and vegetables, especially seasonal ones and dairy products like eggs, fish, meat, flowers and herbs. I hope that you have understood more about Singapore's farm and one last thing is that its eco-friendliness of fertilizers and pesticides are rarely used in high-tech farms in Singapore. The amount of greenhouse gas produced in the process will be decreased. More land and water will be conserved and less fuel used because crops need not transport over long distances. Thank you for your time on watching this podcast. We hope you have enjoyed.